So I've been searching for some true wireless earbuds and I just had a couple things that I wanted them to do. I wanted them to have good active noise canceling or ANC. I wanted them to sound good. I wanted them to have a solid connection, a stable connection, and I wanted them to be comfortable. That's all I wanted. That's all I needed. I didn't really care about the controls and stuff. And so I came across the Jabra 75 T's and these got raving reviews. Everyone said they fit great. They didn't fall out. They had great connection. They had noise cancellation and they sounded good. So I bought them. Now let's see if they live up to the reviews. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Eli Bernstein and today I'm going to be reviewing the Jabra 75T Active Elites or whatever, the active version of the 75T. Now this isn't going to be a video where I talk about all the stats because if you want those, you can just go to their website and look on there. But I am going to be talking about how they actually performed for me. So as I said in the intro, I got these because they got amazing reviews. I don't know what those reviewers were listening to because these did not live, oh, they're falling out of my ears already. <laughs> these did not live up to the hype. Now when I got them, they came in this case, which is very sturdy. I like that. They are very sturdy. They're waterproof. They're dust resistant. They're all the things you need in a headphone if you're planning on going climbing or doing a rigorous workout. They're all, I thought they would be good for me. So when I first put them in, they do have a very snug fit. But whenever I smile, they loosen up and then they fall out. Now that might not be a problem if you don't smile a lot, like if you are depressed. So that's, I'm sorry to hear that. But I smile, especially when I watch TV or someone says something funny. And that can be a problem if they fall out whenever I smile or whenever I raise my eyebrows and my ear, they get looser. So the fit right off the bat didn't work for me, but it might work for someone else. So let's go over the other qualities they have to offer. The connection. The connection was very stable. It only broke up once for me, and that was just a quick blip. Um, that's definitely a pro of these. I personally use an iPhone, and the connection was very good. Sound quality. I tested the sound quality. I thought they had a very heavy bass and kind of sounded a little tinny and cheap. My parents thought they sounded tinny and cheap, but without the bass. So take what you want with that. However, we both agreed that these did not sound very good. And the reviewers, I see a lot of them saying they sounded um, better than like the AirPod Pros. They don't. I don't think they sound very good at all. They, they're they like just below average. It, it's, it's just okay sounding. If you're wanting sound, I would not recommend these. Now the active noise canceling. This one's kind of interesting because they actually didn't originally come with active noise canceling. The active noise canceling came later in a firmware update. So they don't have a designated chip for active noise canceling, but it's more of digital noise canceling. So the noise canceling does work. It works very slightly, like it's barely noticeable at all. However, the seal on these is so good, it acts like active noise canceling even when you don't have ANC on. So the seal noise cancels in itself and the seal rivals like other noise canceling earbuds that I've tried. So this, if you're looking for noise canceling, these will work for you because the seal is so amazing. A big thing that I noticed is because the seal is so good, every single step you take, you hear in your head. So if you're planning on running or even walking with these, every time you take a step, you hear a thump, thump, thump in your head. And not only is it annoying, but it also interrupts your music. Like you can still hear your music, but it, it's so loud, it's harder to hear your music. And because it's inside your head, it doesn't block it out. So for that reason alone, I wouldn't get these because it's not really fun to listen to your music when you have to hear that constant thump that takes away from your music. So if you're a runner or you walk a lot or you walk when you work out, I would not suggest these headphones. Hear through mode is all right. You can definitely tell that you have them on and that they are listening to the surroundings and feeding it into you because it's kind of tinny and it doesn't sound real. But if you're wanting to listen to someone talk, they'll definitely do the trick. Now the controls, they have this button that you tap right on the outside of them and the controls are pretty good. My only problem with it 
is sometimes it's hard to tap the button twice with or like sometimes the controls aren't super sensitive because you have to actually it's not just a tap you have to press it in so that can be a little difficult but it's nothing that would prevent me from buying them the reason i would not get them is because they did not fit my ears number one they might fit your ears so i would still buy them and try them out but i didn't think they sounded great so if they don't fit my ears and they don't sound great then it's kind of a no-brainer for me to return them so unfortunately i will not be keeping these however if you are on the look for earbuds maybe try these out maybe see how you like the sound if you're into heavy bass these are good for you or if you work out a lot these would be good for you because they are very resistant to water and dust however they didn't fit my ears so i can't keep them so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like. That would be really appreciated. If you've had these, tell me your thoughts on them. Tell me what you think. And see you guys in the next video.